guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. Um, I'm just going to tie a wee uh, simple wolf pattern. It's They're not hard to tie. I just want to show you it because if you're new to fly tying, um, you know, the may fly, uh, if you want to start to fish it, very important to have, you know, some wee, like so this, wee wolf patterns um, in your box. So I'm going to show you how to put it together. Now the hook on the face is a Camazon B170 in size 10. You can tie them on a B170 or sorry 75 the heavier wire hook you'll just need to put more wraps of hackle in and just make sure that you put plenty of floating on your fly. Now the thread we're going to use to tie the fly is Uni Thread 801 Black. So I'm just going to come in at the eye. We're just going to run on probably about 4 or 5 mil of thread Remove the waste tag of thread. Now I'm just going to come in and get a wee lick of wax onto your thread and then just bring this back up into position, sort of way, I don't know, roughly. I just judge it maybe about an eye length, um, or sorry, a head length from the, the eye, something like that. It doesn't need to be precise. Now the, the wing is going to be grey squirrel tail and this is tied a lovely uh, olive colour. Now you don't want too much squirrel tail. You're just giving an impression of a wing. So I think that's where some people might go wrong from time to time. It's just too much of the squirrel. Now, I'm not going to stack it or anything because these wee flies are wee rough flies. They're the best ones. Now I'm just going to sort of offer this up. I'm just taking a measurement and sort of way want it around about the, the length of the hook and come in with nice tight turns now and the wax will help you here just to tighten up on that to stop the squirrel from rolling around the shank of the hook then I'm going to come in with another wee lick and then we're going to separate the, the squirrel and you just do your best just try and get them as even as you as even as you can it's not an exact science and then we're just going to come around with a figure of eight. One turn. Turn over to your side of the hook. Just do this a couple of times until you're sort of way happy. Now, I'm happy with that, so I'm just going to tighten back up onto the cut ends, which is going to be the cut ends at the back. Just come in with your scissors and take that away in a bit of a tapered cut. Now, that's your, your wing split. Don't need to do anything else with that at the moment. Just going to come in with another wee lick of wax. Just a wee bit of moisture on these, just to control them a wee bit better. And then just work your thread down. Right down. Sort of way till you're sort of way shy of the barb of the hook. And actually add it. Now you can put more um, olive squirrel tail on, but I'm going to put on some cockfaz and fibers that have been dyed a, a golden olive so we'll just rip those away off the stem and you can have these as long and short as you like guys you think about some of the wolf patterns that are tied with wee short dumpy tails it's up to you I'm just going to have mine around about a length and a half to two lengths of the hook over the back around with a pinch and loop then I'm going to take three turns going down the shank of the hook to tie in the tail just going to come in and trim that. The rib is just going to be two strands of Glow Bright Floss number 11. Just offer those up, pull them into length, and then we're just going to work the thread forward. Just try and keep your turns as close touching as possible. Don't worry if it rolls around, it's no big deal. The body's going to be dubbed, you're not going to see it. Right the whole way up, and then bring your thread back down, right up against your, your tail. Now the dubbing, this is a, an olive brown traditional Irish dubbing that I have also mixed, you hopefully you can see the wee glisters of flash through it, of the olive brown SLF bug dub. Now, dead easy to dub this stuff. You don't need no wax, you don't need to pop wax onto your thread. Just dub it on. 
just in small pinches just until you get used to it and then you can knock it on in large pinches now we'll just slide this up and then we'll get it started onto the hook and then you can tighten up just with each turn just bring your thread up nice and tight now you're looking to put a that nice sort of way cigar or carrot shape into the into the wee fly and then we're going to come up with our low bright floss number 11 now I'm just going to twist this and I'm going to look four to five turns of the low bright floss up the body up to there following this around with our thread a couple of tight turns to secure come in and throw away the excess and we'll just go back to our wax this is the Vanyard's pre-prepared fly tires wax that I'm using take another couple of turns tied up down to the, the two wings then come in and lift everything up bring in the thread to the eye and then work on the thread tied up against the wing now it's, hopefully you can see this, it's not on the wing it's tied up against it, don't need to go on to the wing I'm going to come back down, give it one more pass up then come in and just lift everything up, bring my thread to the back of the wing right, so we can control these to wind the hackle through now, don't be like a wax wax is your friend here in these wee patterns like this now the hackle is going to be a golden olive uh, whiting grizzle so I'm going to get a wee hackle off here now we're just going to strip away the rubbish from the bottom and you want to tie this in with the dull side of the feather facing yourself and the nice shiny part of the feather facing out if that makes sense now, I'm just going to come in and we'll catch this in now, I'm just going to work the thread down tie it up against the wing again lift the wing and tie the hackle stem in on the front this will make for a strong fly guys if you just do this then you can come in and trim away the stem of the hackle. Right, just a wee bit of moisture on our fingers just to help control the wing. And then you're just going to wind this down. I'm going to look to get, I don't know, five, six turns maybe. Something like that in behind the wing, the squirrel tail wing. Then lift everything forward. And then with every turn, just sweep it back. I'm going to work this hackle right down to the eye. Right the whole way right down. Just forget everything else at the minute. Just concentrate on your getting your hackle on. Right to the eye. Then we're going to come in with a turn of thread. Now keep your thread tight your thread tight at this point. Sweep everything back. Anything that's going forward to the eye, just sweep it back. Now there's a wee favour there, but don't worry about it. Just tie in your haggle. Keeping your thread tight, you can break away the haggle. Then you're just going to come in and throw in a whip finish. Now, four or five turn whip finish is plenty. I love tying these. I'd sit and tie these for days, honestly. Now, just come in and trim away your tying thread. Then you can come in and bring everything out to sit out for you, nice and perpendicular to the hook, the way you like to see a mayfly wolf dress now that's the, the wee fly, I'll just separate the wing a wee bit better for you just turn it around now you see it, that's it there, I'm to it now you just come in and we like a varnish, just come in and put everything back just keep it back out of the way a wee minute there before it springs forward and just varnish right the whole way right around the eye Usually got a bit of waste wire, which I do. Just come in, just sweep it back, and just clean out your eye. Just make sure it's clean. I'm washing getting out the boat and your can't put your nail on through. Right, there you go. So that's just a wee wolf pattern. So there you go, we'll tie a few of those up. If you if you like to face the mayfly, if you're thinking about facing the mayfly. Tie a few of those up guys, I'm telling you, I'll catch you a few fish, just like 
you know, that's one that I've done on the, the other video. It's me orange one. So, tie a few up guys, hopefully. Fingers crossed and catch you a few fish. Um, as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really do appreciate it, thank you. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Helps the wee channel grow. And until next time guys, please stay safe and tight lanes.